Hi, Graham from United Kingdom. Um, thank you for your question. And I really mean it <clears throat> because this question about how to, how can we um, manifest nonviolent communication, how can we use it across intercultural differences and divides? This question is so important for me. I'm so passionate about it. So I'm, I'm very happy <laughs> when I'm being when I'm being given an opportunity to, to ramble about it. Um, um, so, first I want to say that nonviolent communication, as it was represented by Marshall Rosenberg, was not represented or discovered or developed, as you wish, uh, in a, some sort of a pure form. Um, but it's already um, biased because it was seen, perceived, and then ex expressed by Marshall Rosenberg through cultural lens that he himself was conditioned into, like we all are on the planet. So, so actually, what we received as nonviolent communication is already um, culturally biased and shaped and warped around certain cultural values um, of, of Marshall Rosenberg. In other words, if Marshall Rosenberg was not uh, from the US, but he was Japanese or Nigerian or Argentinian, uh, he, the nonviolent communication would be different. He would develop a different uh, model. Now, the essence would probably be the same. Meaning, yes, there is a spirit of connection. How can we connect on a level of innocent hearts? Um, and maybe the, th the three main elements would also be the same. Like, you know, how, how can we express ourselves in an in a honest uh, and clear way? How can we receive uh, others with, with empathy? And how can we connect in a self-empathic self way? Um, but how would we manifest this uh, aspects of nonviolent communication that would probably be uh, very different than it is now than it was presented by him um, now because it would be warped around different intercultural values so the idea that is very often um, present and for me personally very troubling um, seems like the a, a idea of some sort of a religious missionaries that, oh, we know what nonviolent communication is, so let's go around the world now and let's um, educate everybody into our philosophy, into our approach, because we believe it's universal, it's applicable to everybody, and um, once the whole world uh, learns it, <clears throat> the whole world will be saved. That sounds very much like uh, religious missionaries going around teaching cute uh, primitives to, um, you know, the, the, the right religion. And uh, I am concerned when this is happening. Uh, so I, I believe um, in order to carry the essence of nonviolent communication across different cultures, we need to... Um, go through a, f a few steps and by by these few steps we may then <clears throat> slowly learn to translate the spirit of envy of nonviolent communication into observable actions and words that will be in harmony or enough in harmony with the values of a specific culture um, so that it's not just uh, star trainers from the West being para parachuted into um, some other countries uh, and you know teaching them how to communicate. Now the first one, the first step, is for me exploration or raising my own awareness of what is the cultural bias, what is the cultural lens, what is, what is the cultural matrix that I was conditioned in, into, and that is still, in, you know, of course, in my field. For instance, um, 
is am I was I more conditioned into or or, or brought up in in this culture of individualism so like my needs are very important I need to stand up for my needs for my feelings or maybe more um, uh, collectivistic ones meaning that uh, I'm aware that like in Ubuntu uh, I am because you are because we are so um, we we exist as a, as a big um, organism that speaks through through many different different personas um, but I don't exist without the collective so so the needs of the collective are more important than my personal little needs so I will have the tendency to care for the collective and if I'm more from the, let's say individual in individualistic cul uh, culture I will have a tendency to care more for for the individual um, and you can probably now understand how difficult that suddenly becomes because if we are from let's say from Western Europe from more individualistic cultures and then we try to share non-binary communication in a very collectivistic culture suddenly there is a huge discrepancy between my world my universe and their universe and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pull them into my universe rather than trying to connect with their universe learn about them and then you know together try to find a way that will work for for everybody anyway so i would want to be aware of that of my own cultural spe specificities also let's say is my culture cherishing more the direct communication or indirect communication now, of course nonviolent communication is very much about direct self-expression for steps being very clear but these are the values of <clears throat> certain um, uh, certain cultures and they are definitely not universal or global values um, there are very many cultures you know, most of the global south most of the east is uh, living in so-called contextual communication that means that um, words are not so important the meaning is important so I will say yes when you ask me is can you do that for me Robert by tomorrow I will say yes because saying no would would come across as very disrespectful um, so I will always say yes but I'm expecting you to understand uh, that there is a no underneath this yes so that you will read the air <clears throat> and it works it works in the contextual culture it works we will understand each other regardless of of the words that that have been said <clears throat> now um now again uh, non-violent communication is as as it was presented by, by marsha rosenberg is actually <clears throat> focusing on direct communication so how can we translate that so again i could you know speak now for a couple of hours but it's really just to be aware what are the values of my culture and that are influencing my understanding and my interpretation of nonviolent communication because my interpretation of nonviolent communication whatever it is it's not universal it's my interpretation so it was interpreted already by marshall rosenberg through the lens of his culture and now it is in, again interpreted by me through the lens of my my culture so that's one one thing the second step I would want to learn about the culture where I am invited to share nonviolent communication I would want to learn about it I would want to study it I would want to get educated I would want to live there I would want to ask people to tell me about the values I would want to you know so to really learn not to not expect just them to learn but to do the first step myself to learn about their culture uh, the values that their culture is you know kind of uh, circling around that's the the second uh, one the third step I would want to connect with representatives from these cultures from this culture that are enthusiastic about nonviolent communication 
and then with them i would i would want to get the spirit of nonviolent communication across not the mechanics of it but the spirit of it meaning that i would want to get across you know that it's it's all about connecting on the level of 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 innocent hearts it's connecting on the level of of human heart it's the language of the heart and it's it manifests itself through self connection and or self empathy through empathic receiving and through um through um clear and honest self expression i would want to get just these ideas across with whatever translation is is needed so that we have the common denominator we we know what we are talking about me and this representatives of this other culture and then the fourth step maybe the most important one i would want to collaborate with them i would want to together with them invent how can we translate the spirit the essence of nonviolent communication into the observable words and actions of your that will work in your culture how can we translate the idea of clear and honest self expression into a shape that will also you know be fine tuned a little bit so it works in your culture how can we translate the art the skill and art of empathic receiving and uh, uh reflecting um how can we translate that so that it will work in your culture as well given your values that that might be somewhat different so it's really about collaboration it's it's really about dialoguing it's really about how can we together explore the unknown and together find ways to move that that will actually be nourishing and supportive to life in you rather than me being a missionary coming into the land uh with a completely different values and a different culture saying okay i know the truth it's written in this book it has four steps of self expression let me teach you and then you will get trained and then you will get certified and then you can also spread you know the our message around the, the world so that's something i wouldn't want to do but it's really about a circle it's about a dialogue it's about us connecting and exploring the unknown together and then see if it works trying out and hopefully moving in a, in in a in a life life serving direction i hope that makes some some sense